Hi, I'm a chemistry tutor, Rian Lai, and today we are focusing on electrochemistry. Look at these coins in my hand. One is silverish, one is shiny gold, and this is bronze. But we know that this isn't gold or silver. They are just coated with different metals to give them a different color and identity. How is it done? Through electroplating. Electroplating is the process carried out to coat the surface of a metal object with a thin and even layer of another metal by electrolysis. It can be a key, a spoon, a coin, earrings, or even your handphone case as long as it is made of metal. Look at this diagram. To make this spoon silvery and shiny, we have to coat an even layer of silver on top of an iron spoon. There are three important conditions to carry out electroplating. Number one, the object to be coated or plated must be used as a cathode. In this case, the iron spoon will be the cathode. Number two, the electroplating metals has to be used as the anode, which is the pure silver. Number three, the electrolyte used must be a solution that contains the electroplating metal ions. Since the electroplating matter is silver, we need to use an aqueous solution with silver ions. For example, silver nitrate solution. Now, what will happen when electricity is passed through? At anode, the silver metal will dissolve, becoming thinner and thinner as it forms silver ion, with half equation of silver metal losing electrons to form silver ions. At cathode, silver metal is deposited on the surface of the iron spoon with silver ions gaining electrons to form silver. After some time, a thin layer of silver will be coating the spoon. The electroplating is considered complete now. Let's look at this question. A student wants to electroplate an iron nail with nickel metal. Part A, what should be used as the anode, the cathode and the electrolyte? I have mentioned the three very important conditions just now. Number one, the object to be coated must be used as the cathode. Therefore, the cathode would be the iron nail. Number two, the electroplating metal will be used as the anode. This will make our anode the pure nickel metal. Number three, the electrolyte must be a solution which contains the electroplating metal ion, such as nickel two sulfate solution. The setting up of the apparatus is shown in this diagram. For part B of the question, write the half equations to represent the reactions at the anode and the cathode. As we know, the anode will dissolve and become thinner. So the half equation at anode will be nickel solid becomes nickel 2 plus ions by losing two electrons. While at cathode, the pure nickel will be deposited on the surface of the iron nail. And this will make the half equation at cathode as Nickel 2 plus ion gains 2 electrons forming nickel. Let's check it. They are balanced. For part C, state two purposes of coating an iron nail. The reasons to coat an iron nail are firstly, to prevent corrosion. Secondly, is to improve the appearance of the iron nail. Now, you know how electroplating works and I hope you have enjoyed learning this topic. I'm Rian Lai and I will see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Chemistry. Bye!